Steven asked, can you talk about carbon fiber versus sub $500 wooden bows? Of course, carbon fiber bows that I can think of are like Coda bows. Um, wooden bows are also a great option. I play on a wooden bow, but for a very long time, actually my undergrad, I played on actually a carbon fiber bow just because that's something that I was used to and they're extremely durable. So you never have to worry about them breaking and they act as like a regular bow. They require the same kind of horse hair for regular rehairs. They are really reliable. They sound good. Actually, the technology for carbon fiber bows are really, um, are really excellent. And I think since, since I was playing on Coda bows, uh, they, they announce like a new higher level line that's like probably in the fifteen hundred to two thousand dollar range that almost identically mimics a wooden bow. So I haven't tried one of those. Actually, I have no. I lied. I did have. I did try one of those bows, and they sound really good. But there's just there's nothing um, about wooden. Like I just love wooden bows. And in terms of sub five hundred wooden bows, I. If you're going to spend $500 on a bow, I wouldn't spend it on a wooden bow. I'll probably spend $500 on a carbon fiber bow because usually $500 bows have nickel and you want to have a bow that is silver. That's because the bow simply is lighter. You want the bow to be between 60 and 62 and a half grams and nickel tends to be on the heavier side. So if you are able to cash out a little bit more on a wooden bow, try to get something with silver mounted bow. And that's just from my own personal experience and knowledge that it'll create a better sound because usually you have better quality wood, but also it's lighter.